Business Info Buzz Channel, your ultimate portal into the captivating world of business and finance. Today, we've got a captivating story to dive into, one that's as iconic as it is cautionary. We're delving into the rise and fall of Tower Records, a company that once stood at the forefront of the music retail scene. Join us as we explore the captivating tale of Tower Records' corporate journey from its meteoric rise to its point and fall. So hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's journey back in time to unravel the story of Tower Records. Revolutionizing Music Retail In the annals of the music industry, few stories are as iconic and cautionary as that of Tower Records, a company that soared to unimaginable heights before plummeting into bankruptcy. Founded by Russ Solomon in 1960, Tower Records emerged from the vibrant musical landscape of the 1960s, quickly establishing itself as a revolutionary force in music retail. With a modest beginning as a small record store in Sacramento, California, Tower Records would evolve into a global phenomenon that shaped the way people interacted with music. Russ Solomon's vision for Tower Records was not merely to create a record store, but to foster a haven for music enthusiasts, an immersive space where the experience of browsing and discovering music was elevated to an art form. The flagship store in Sacramento embodied this vision. Its sprawling aisles were filled with an unparalleled selection of vinyl records, creating a mecca for music lovers who sought to explore a diverse array of genres and artists. As the counterculture movements of the 1960s and 1970s took center stage, Tower Records became more than just a retailer. It became a cultural hub. The store's vibrant atmosphere and eclectic music offerings mirrored the era's spirit of rebellion and experimentation. The company's emphasis on employing knowledgeable staff members who shared customers' passion for music added to the unique experience, turning every visit into a musical journey guided by experts. By the 1980s, Tower Records was riding high on its success and expanding its footprint both nationally and internationally. Its iconic yellow and red color scheme and recognizable logo became synonymous with musical discovery. With each new store, Tower Records injected life into local music scenes, often hosting live performances and events that brought communities together. The company's influence extended beyond retail, as it played an active role in launching the careers of emerging artists through its in-store concerts and promotions. The 1990s marked a pivotal moment for Tower Records as it deftly navigated the transition from vinyl to CDs. Recognizing the potential of the compact disc format, Tower Records became an early adopter, positioning itself at the forefront of music retail innovation. This strategic move not only solidified the company's reputation as a forward-thinking player in the industry, but also boosted its sales, drawing in customers eager to upgrade their music collections. Technological Disruption and Digital Revolution However, even as Tower Records enjoyed immense success, cracks begin to appear beneath the surface. The company's ambitious expansion strategy, which saw the opening of massive flagship stores in key cities, came with hefty lease agreements that strained its financial resources. Additionally, the rise of big box retailers and the convenience of chain stores added to the competitive landscape, challenging Tower Records' stronghold on the market. While Tower Records was riding high in its success, seismic shifts were underway in the music industry. The emergence of digital technology, the rise of the internet, and the advent of online music sharing platforms posed a significant challenge to the traditional brick-and-mortar retail model. The late 1990s saw the rise of Napster and other peer-to-peer -peer file sharing platforms, disrupting the music industry's traditional distribution models. The convenience of digital music downloads and the proliferation of illegal file sharing sites marked the beginning of a fundamental transformation in consumer behavior. Tower Records' initial response to these changes was slow and hesitant. The company failed to fully grasp the magnitude of the digital revolution and the impact it would have on its business. Tower's late entry into the online market and its partnership with online music service Rhapsody fell short of providing a competitive edge. While the company did make attempts to establish an online presence and partner with digital music services, these efforts fell short of the transformative change needed to keep up with the pace of innovation. Meanwhile, online giants like Amazon and Apple's iTunes were rapidly gaining ground, reshaping the music retail landscape and leaving traditional record stores struggling to keep up. As the new millennium unfolded, Tower Records found itself trapped between its storied legacy and the relentless march of technological progress. Amazon and Apple iTunes revolutionized the way music was purchased and consumed, 
rendering the physical retail model increasingly obsolete. Tower Records struggled to adapt, and its financial woes deepened. The company's debt load became insurmountable, leading to its Chapter 11 bankruptcy filing in 2004. Financial troubles began to mount for Tower Records, driven by a combination of factors that exposed the vulnerabilities of its business model. The company's aggressive expansion efforts, which had once propelled its growth, began to backfire as the costs associated with opening and operating large flagship stores escalated. Tower Records' iconic physical spaces that had once been bustling hubs for music enthusiasts turned into financial burdens, straining the company's resources. Furthermore, the company's ambitious approach to securing prime retail locations through expensive lease agreements proved to be a double-edged sword. While lease locations had initially contributed to Tower Records' allure and foot traffic, they ultimately tied the company to high fixed costs that became increasingly difficult to sustain. As music consumption patterns shifted, foot traffic declined, and the once thriving stores struggled to generate the same levels of revenue that they had in their heyday. Simultaneously, the decline in physical media sales, particularly CDs, contributed to Tower Records' financial woes. The company had been a driving force in promoting the adoption of CDs in the 1980s. But by the early 2000s, the allure of digital music downloads and later, streaming services had taken hold. As consumers migrated to the convenience of digital platforms, Tower Records found itself facing a sharp decline in sales of physical media, a core component of its revenue stream. Tower Records Legacy the fall of Tower Records was a bittersweet moment for music enthusiasts and industry insiders alike. The once thriving empire that had provided a home for music lovers to explore, connect, and discover had succumbed to the forces of change. The bankruptcy marked the end of an era, an era defined by tactile experiences, personal connections with the store staff, and the serendipity of finding hidden gems in the aisles. Despite its ultimate demise, Tower Records left an indelible mark on the music industry and retail landscape. The company's legacy is a testament to the power of innovation, customer experience, and the role of cultural institutions in shaping society. Tower Records helped define the communal experience of music consumption, fostering a sense of community and discovery that remains etched in the memories of countless music enthusiasts. Its legacy endures as a powerful reminder of the dynamism of the business landscape and the need for adaptability in the face of technological disruption. Tower Records Rise and Fall showcase the importance of understanding the evolving demands of consumers and leveraging innovation to stay relevant. It also underscores the delicate balance between preserving the cherished aspects of the past and embracing the inevitable march of progress. The rise and fall of Tower Records also serve as a cautionary tale about the importance of adaptation and foresight in the face of technological disruption. The company's reluctance to fully embrace digital music distribution in e-commerce highlights the risks of complacency and resistance to change. The downfall of Tower Records underscores the need for businesses to continually evolve, anticipate market shifts, and proactively invest in technology and innovation to remain relevant in an ever-changing landscape. And there you have it, the rise and fall of Tower Records, a true testament to the ever-changing landscape of business and technology. From its humble beginnings as a small record store to its global influence, Tower Records left an indelible mark on in music history. But as we've seen, even the most iconic institutions can face challenges in the face of innovation. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the corporate journey of Tower Records, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more captivating stories from the past. Thanks for joining us on this exploration, and until next time, keep the music alive.